it is my last week of undergrad. Feel good. I feel good. And when I feel like it won't all work out, I'ma stand up on my feet and I'm gonna shout. Yay, I'm so happy. And I'm gonna be taking you on my last week of undergrad. I just thought it would be a cool vlog because I have graduation this week and I have a lot of things planned for this week. So stay tuned for the end of the video to see me graduate. Hi everyone. So I'm currently wearing my work uniform. I work for Res Life. I'm a resident assistant at my university and I'm gonna be doing my hair as I chat with you all. So I just wanted to honestly recap school because I feel like I have had great experiences in college and I honestly can't believe it's coming to me. Like my freshman year was the year 2019, 2020, so COVID happened. I didn't get a real freshman year like I would have hoped, but I still enjoyed every moment of college since then and I feel like I've grown so much. And quite honestly, I'm sad that it's ending and that it's over but I can't wait to see the journey that lies ahead, especially with me going to law school. If you don't know, I am going to law school in the fall and I'm very excited about that. However, a little scared because it feels like I'm gonna be starting all over again. And starting over and having fresh starts are good, but the scary part is being that I'll be the first person in my family to have going to a master's program or a doctoral program of higher education and that's some stress that I didn't need but I'm very happy to be the first in my family because that also means I don't have anybody to really look up to meaning like I don't have to meet a certain threshold of excellence because I am the first one to do it so that was that would be like a pro and a con you know because I don't have anybody to talk to about it or vent to about it or anybody that really understands. But then again, I don't have to feel like pressure from <laughs> someone in my family who's already done it. Okay, so I have to do this last minute paper. Well, I finished the paper. I'm about to correct my sources because I was doing it last night and I got tired with doing all my corrections, changing everything, adding more resources, well, more sources to my paper. So now I'm about to do this morning is go over my citations and then print it out because it's due in person at noon and it's 9 a.m. and I don't have that much time. So I'm gonna do this and then I'll take you on for the rest of my day. I'm so happy that I can let it shine. I can let it shine. I'm so happy. Yeah. It's hard to smile when the sun goes down. It's kind of wild, but we experience it now. My daddy told me. So I went to work and they told me that I could leave and come back because not a lot of people are checking out. So I'm about to go turn in my paper. And yeah, so I don't know, it's raining outside. It looks very gloomy. But the good thing is, weather's looking good for Saturday, which is when I graduate. So I can deal with the rain on a Monday. But come Saturday, this weather better be beautiful. Hate Illinois sometimes, but it's whatever. We ball anyways. Good morning, YouTube. I just left from my presentation. I did really good. I have to present again. So I didn't get to make my first video this morning, but I'm wearing like some business professional clothes. I'm so happy to open my eyes. Hi, y'all. So um, I just got an email from Northwestern saying that my decision letter is available. So let's see what it is. I'm kind of nervous though. Like, I don't know why I'm nervous. I already deposited at a school, but I gotta see what Northwestern said, you know, like, I don't know. I just think like if I never open it and I never know, then like, what was the point? So, oh, I'm scared. Oh, I'm really, really scared. This is insane. Okay. 
So, dear Alexandria, we have reviewed your application and regret that we are unable to offer you admission to 2023 Northwestern. This is my only rejection this whole cycle, so I'm really happy about all my other decisions. But honestly, I'm happy that I tried. I still kind of expected this considering my stats, but a win is a win, and this is okay. <laughs> hey, y'all, so I just woke up from a nap. That's why I look like this. I look a little rough, but I had to get ready really quickly because I had my piano recital tonight. I'm not really an avid pianist, but I took a class and now I gotta do a recital for my final. So I will put a clip if it's actually good. So to be determined if I do good on my piano recital, but say good luck to me in the comments below, please. I would really appreciate it. I'm Alexandria Wilson and I will be playing Moonlight Sonata. YouTube. I'm with my friend Jamie. Hi, you guys. What's up? I'm gonna put her at down here. Make sure you follow her. And then my friend Jaden is in the back. Yo. We well, I'm on call tonight. I'm on duty, and we got a noise complaint. So headed to North. We're 12 tonight. So <laughs> that's the sound of the police. So let's get this out of the way. Last duty night of the semester, though, and last duty night of just general period because she's leaving. Three years of being an RA. If y'all have if y'all have questions about what it's like being a resident assistant, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Or if y'all want me to make a video, Ooh, let me know. That's a great I'll idea. I'll tell y'all all the pros and cons of being a resident and assistant. And she's been in a freshman dorm her whole experience here. Yes. So yes. she has a lot to tell y'all. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, but let's go get this noise complaint because it's 24 hour quiet hours. So we'll be back. Good morning, YouTube. Going to Walmart. I just got a new car, so gotta get some stuff from our car. Hopefully, I can get some cute little decor from our car. But yeah, so let's see what I find. Okay, Walmart did not have the steering wheel cover that fit my car, so I just had to return it. It was so cute though, but I'm not about to have a steering wheel cover that does not fit. Like, I was struggling so hard to put it on, so I'm not gonna do that, but I'm about to go get a car wash because. You know, gotta treat my baby to some love, my new baby. I'll show you what she looks like after she's clean. You wanna go feel good. I feel good. And when I feel like it won't all work out, I'ma stand up and shout. Hey y'all, so I'm about to get my hair dyed and lightened up. I'm at the salon right now, so I'm about to go inside and hopefully I like the hair results because if I don't, then I'm stuck with this hair color. Anyway, see you when my hair is done. Yeah. Hey. 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 This little light of mine. It's hard to smell when the sun goes down. To begin the ceremony, I now invite Alexandria Wilson, a paralegal studies major and peace and justice studies double major to offer our invocation. Please remain seated. Ms. Wilson. Let us pause to remember that we are always in the holy presence of God. Lord God, we ask that you grant to us hearts that are thankful for learners, for teachers, for family, for friends, and for all who have been our companions along the road that has led us here today. Grant to us voices that speak the truth as you would have us speak to it, and wills dedicated to the service of all of our brothers and sisters, both near and far. Grace us with the strength to commit ourselves to fulfilling the LaSallian mission of Lewis University in our lives together. Embracing knowledge in a spirit of fidelity, wisdom, justice, and association. May we be constantly aware of your call to act justly, to love tenderly, and to walk humbly with you throughout our lives. We make this prayer in your most holy name, amen. 
Alexandria Corinne Wilson. <laughs> Is this shit real? I contemplate that